Like I said, either way, I mean, I like melted ice cream as well, so like... Hello! Hey everyone, Psycho, Nate, and anybody else that may have made it in by now. Hello, 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 and... I mean, just hello, I guess. <laughs> hello, and thank you for being here, guys. Uh, tonight, we're gonna try out a little bit of Jeremy McGrath. See, like, on my list of PlayStation 2 games, it's listed as Jeremy McGrath Supercross World 2002. But when I try to find that, it doesn't seem to exist. And on the case, it just says Supercross World. So I'm gonna go with it's probably just called Supercross World. Jeremy McGrath Supercross World. I think. That's what that's what I'm gonna go with at least. Uh, it seems seems good enough to me. Uh, pretty early game. It's another CD based game. I'm assuming it's a cross platform release. I'm not really positive on that, but I'm just guessing by the the layout of all these menus and and the little demo reel and whatnot. It looks very PlayStation One esque, and I'm fairly certain these games were also released on the the PlayStation the Supercross games. Also like. These two people have the same exact helmet? That's kind of lame. You chipped the fuck out of a tooth today? Ooh, that sucks, man. Trying to strip the plastic off a paper clip so you could use it to dig out resin so I could smoke. Holy shit, man. And chip the hell out of your tooth in the process. That sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. I actually uh, just had to get some fillings done because I was... Uh, well, one, because I, you know, didn't have dental insurance for a long time, so I've been needing to anyways. But uh, I uh, take nicotine lozenges because I stopped smoking forever ago. And, like, it, from falling asleep with it in between my cheek and my lip all the time, um, as well as just, like, always putting it over there while I'm using them, it, like, slowly wore away a chunk of one of my teeth, man. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty, pretty gross, but <laughs> thankfully they got it all filled in, so I didn't have to, like, get anything crazy done, but holy hell. You still got to smoke, though? Hey, that's what matters at the end of the day, right? Did you see the post I made in your Discord? I did not, but I can take a look. Uh, what is this? We got Baja Indoor Outdoor Freestyle. Uh, I guess we'll do an outdoor, outdoor. Is that... I guess that's what we're playing. Bike select, rider stats, save career. Just go straight into the race then, man. I don't know. I have no idea what the hell's going on right here. Um, switch accounts. Go to that. Go here. Go here. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> uh, I'll have to take a look in a moment. <laughs> I was not paying enough attention, and yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was a PS1 game that was just ported over to the PS2. Uh, did do you see the way we're turning? I'm not like, you don't have to break or anything. You like, okay, there's a little bit of lean there, I guess, but it looked weird as shit. And I'm surprised, like, how much we're sticking to the ground over these, uh, over these bumps, some of them. I mean, I'm not like a Supercross pro or anything like that, but I'm pretty sure some of these little bumps would have us going uh, in the air a lot more than, <laughs> than what we got going on here. Do we need to like, okay, nope, not that button. <laughs> that button doesn't let us turn. That's what that button does. I think that's like a wheelie button or something. Yeah, okay, so that, that, that pulls up the front wheel. I don't think... Okay, R1, like, slides around the corner whenever we do that one. That's more or less how I was expecting. Hey, Noodle. Uh, expecting the turns to work. What does L1 do? L1 doesn't seem to do anything. Good to know. Square, I think that was break. Circle, probably nothing. Triangle is camera. Okay. So, super basic. But, I mean, as soon as I saw the case and then saw the, the CD inside the uh, the game case instead of DVD, I kind of figured this was going to be a basic as hell uh, game, TVH, man. I'm, uh, <laughs> so far, I am not surprised by what we've gotten. <laughs> oh. 
How far off are we from first place? What are we? We are in. Oh, we were actually in second until we just hit the fuck out of it. Oh, it's okay. Everyone else wrecked. We're in second again. <laughs> and died to an invisible wall. Hell yeah. Let's go, dude. Why can we suddenly, like, not turn, man? I wasn't deaccelerating the whole game and doing just fine, and now all of a sudden the, the damn bike doesn't want to turn around the bends. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know about that one. That feels a little bit weird. Okay, I was trying to see, like, uh... Like, if this one button does the wheelie or whatever, I was trying to see, like, if we use the left stick to, to put, like, push forward or push back, if it would do anything different, but no, it doesn't seem to. It seems like it's always just the one button. Perform a seat grab, get the whole shot? What's a whole shot? Perform ten stunts, collect the wrenches, complete in the lap. Okay, so this is, like, some... I almost said Mortal Kombat. God, I'm a fucking idiot. Some, uh... Tony Hawk cross with motocross or something like that. You got like you got your your races, but then you also got little little things that you got to do at the same time. Okay, that's I th I can get into it. I think a whole shot is like a perfect launch at the beginning of the race. Oh, see, I never would have known that, man. Never would have known that. Also, I just uh, took a look, Nate. That sucks, man. Your entire tire just fell off basically I don't I don't think that was a whole shot oh wait whole shot Langston am I Langston <laughs> I don't think I am I don't know uh, I'm, I'm assuming that means Langston got a, a whole shot but I don't know who the hell okay well they just fucked me up mess me up real good <clears throat> And the reason you know that is because you love drag racing. Ew. I'm assuming you mean the car kind, not the other kind. <laughs> uh, I mean, they could have whole shots in uh, in the other kind of drag racing, too. I don't know, man. Maybe that's a, a perfect launch uh, down the runway, you know? <laughs> so, uh, how do we perform tricks? I'm assuming we got to be in the air for it. Okay, circle didn't do anything. Next time we get air, we'll try <coughs> square. Nope. I don't. It's not going to be triangle. Maybe that's like what L1 and whatnot does. There we go. We should get air here, right? Uh, L1. L1 did jack o. Uh, right stick. Nope. That just turns the camera around like crazy. Um. I mean, we can like, we can like lean with the left stick. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's D-pad. Come on, give me some air. Nope, D-pad does the same thing as that. L1 and left stick, new. L2 and left stick. Uh, Okay, there we go, there we go. We got one, we whipped it good. <laughs> uh, try the other direction. That that looked like another whip, okay. I mean, uh, uh, hopefully the that still counts. Do we have to like, maybe it's R2, maybe we have to hold different shoulder buttons before we use the the directional button oh god uh, I forget the, the button to like drift around that would help a lot the car kind like street racing I, I assume that's what you had meant man I was just <laughs> I was just messing around I kind of figured yeah <laughs> you don't go to the track you're not talking about funny car or top fuel which is also what gets dragged race professionally. Oh, so you're you're already way above uh, my head on all that, man. The only drag racing I really know are like every once in a while it'll pop up in one of my video feeds, like a couple cars going up against each other, which is cool to watch, admittedly. Um, and then like in in a couple different video games, like that's that's the extent of my my knowledge on drag racing. Complete a lap in under 45. I'm assuming we did that, right? No, we actually... Our top time is 52. Oh, shit. Okay, collect all the wrenches. We can probably at least collect all the wrenches, right? If nothing else, we should be able to do that one. I should figure out how to do... Oh, God. <laughs> Get fucked, whoever you were. <laughs> 
I should figure out how to do the tricks though. Try to try to collect all the oh, did we just jump over that fucking wrench? That doesn't do much. Oh, okay. Uh R2. R2 and directional buttons. That seemed to be the 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 trick right there, man. I think we might have figured something out. I also I noticed that the That was way too late. Maybe here. Uh why did it not work that time? Okay, and we wrecked that time. Nice. <laughs> I notice in the bottom right, every time we collect a wrench, it's filling up some sort of meter. And since it's wrenches, I'm assuming that's like the uh, the the vehicles, the the bikes' uh, durability or something. I really don't know. Why is that dude like going crazy back and forth like that? What the hell are you doing, man? What? How did we wreck there? That was a clean landing. Funny car is a car that opens from the front and closes, and there's no way out. Oh, okay. Toffee are the ones with the really long and skinny noses. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yep, yep. There was a Disney Disney movie with those in it, right? <laughs> the the top fuel ones. I'm pretty sure. If I remember correctly, it was a Disney movie. Okay, catwalk. That's one trick. We were supposed to do what, like 10? I don't think we're going to do that. Hell, I, at this point, I'm not even positive if we're going to collect all the wrenches. We can pretty sure, or pretty sure, bleh. We could probably get it if we, uh, if we really try here. Pretty sure there's been a Disney movie about everything. That's true. I can't, <laughs> I can't really argue with you on that one. You're right. You're right. See, that one's like so down in there. I really don't feel like stopping just to go back to get it. Fuck it. We're just going to go to the next race after this. We're only going to be playing for a couple of hours anyways. Like, what do we care? We don't need to. We don't need to. Uh... Why didn't your thing go? Yeah, it was having trouble with you last night too. I know like every once in a while, if you put a vote in, it'll be on the bot's turn because it does take a second for the bot to think and do their turn even when uh no one else has has done anything so maybe maybe that's it maybe that's what happened i wasn't really paying that much attention whenever you put your uh your vote in for three the first time i just want to see someone beat that thing without the the bot being absolutely stupid because because <laughs> it does do that like right there like that's it it's fucking why why did it do that man <laughs> like it normally doesn't do that, but every once in a while, it just makes extremely stupid moves like that, leaving it completely open to be won. And then other times, it just, it'll actually play, like, reasonably well. I don't, I don't get, I don't get it. I don't know why it does that. Uh, let's, let, let's do a, uh, I don't know, an indoor career. Oh, wait, I don't want to save. Okay, whatever. Oh, we were picking our save. Well, that makes sense. Nah, I don't really want to do freestyle. Let's do, uh, was Baja what we just did? I don't know. Let's try indoor. Why not? Race. Let's fucking go. Get the whole shot. Collect the helmets this time. Complete a lap in under 33 seconds. Perform five stunts. Perform a saran wrap. What the hell was a saran wrap, man? I don't know what that is. This makes me want to play... Oh, wait. I got a whole shot? I don't know what I did. I just held the X button down, but... <laughs> sure. I mean, I'll take it, though. I'm not I'm not going to be mad about that. Hell yeah, dude. Give me give me one objective, at least. That's, <laughs> I'm kind of surprised one of the objectives isn't take first place. Like, you would think, oh, that's the wrong fucking button. You would think that would be up there somewhere, but... Apparently, winning doesn't matter in this game. All that matters is that you can do neat tricks every once in a while. That's a big-ass hill, dude. Six seconds off leader. We got this. See, it's... In my mind, it's a racing game. So, like, I'm, I'm here to race. When instead, it wants me to, like, go slow over that bump back there so that I can collect this random helmet that's on the side of the track. We're like over there, man, where it was like all the way off to the, the, the side. Like why? Just <laughs> honestly, I think I would have more fun with it as a racing game. Also, collision. 
What was that? We just we just went into the air with nothing. Game is jank. Oh. Okay, so it's R1 that actually lets us do the sharp sharp turns. I should I should remember that. That'll come in handy, honestly. Hey, what's up? Kappa cow. Thank you for being here, man. Appreciate it. Uh, there's no way. Like I'm not, at least we got one of the objectives so far though with the whole uh the whole shot even though I, I still don't really know how I got the whole shot. I just did. Apparently the ceram wrap is a very hard move to pull off. You're watching an 8 minute comp of a dude trying it and failing. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> I can hardly even stay on my bike. I don't know how I don't know how that's going to happen. The Saran Wrap. Who comes up with the names for these things? I mean, we'll try again. We'll at least try some of it. Complete a lap in under 33. Those ones aren't too bad. Like the time trial ones. Although I feel, feel like you mean IRL yet. Well, okay. Fair. <laughs> um, perform a Saran Wrap. I wonder. I don't even know what button combination that would be. Perform five stunts. We can try that one. And maybe, maybe complete a lap in under 33 seconds. The only thing is, like, we also have the level 1 bike right now. So, I don't know if we can really... I don't know if we can really get uh, the 33, like, seconds. If our bikes are good enough to do that yet. Or if it's, like, one of those games where you need to come back later. After playing a little bit more and... Uh, Re redo certain levels to complete objectives that you couldn't do earlier on. It might be one of those sorts of things, but I, I honestly don't know, man. But yeah, Nate, if you're still around, what you gonna do about the car, man? Your uh, your extremely shitty car luck is holding up so well or so far, though. This is what like your third car this year, or third vehicle at least this year. That sucks, man. Honestly, I'm waiting for <laughs> waiting for that to happen to mine. It's been making a uh, slight grinding noise, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I I kind of think it's probably the ball joint to be honest. But what you gonna do, you know? Because <laughs> I also have other problems with my car, so if I'm gonna get it fixed, it's probably gonna cost me like at least a thousand dollars, and uh, I don't have a thousand dollars to throw on a. Uh, throw away on fixing the car right now so it'll be fine <laughs> let's just hope that it falls off like going slow like like uh, with what happened to you man all right let's try let's try some tricks the next time we hit a hit a jump here what i say it was like r2 okay well we we did a heel click thing but we also fucking died <laughs> doing it so uh, yeah, about that. Uh, why can we not, like, jump off these things? It's also... What do I have to do? Do I have to, like... I think maybe I have to hold R2 for a moment before I press the directional button. I'm trying to, like, hit them at the same time. And Only one this year? And you've only had two in total? Yeah, but you had, uh... Uh, you were using, like, what? Your car died, so you were using your dad's car or something like that? And then it died, something happened to it, and then you got this one, right? Or am I misremembering things? I don't know. I could be misremembering things. Lord knows that happens to me enough. Your, your car's dog shit transmission is about to go out, and the repair for that is more than the car is worth. My brother just had that same issue with his car, man. The same issue, honestly. Like, he was driving around in it, and it just fucking died. It would go in reverse, but that was it. It would not go forward at all um thankfully he was able to uh get the money together to get it fixed eventually but yeah it was a whole fucking mess man and it cost thousands of dollars if it if he wasn't still making payments on the car i doubt he would have got the car fixed he uh he probably would have just just fucking junked it ah oh, fuck it started it's fine <laughs> i was taking a lozenge Gonna see if the axe was salvageable and you ordered ball joints already, you guess? Okay, okay. Your ball bearing is out as well? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Wait, am I supposed to jump this or... Okay. 
I'm a little confused here. Oh, are we just like going through? Let's just restart. Hey, thank you so much for the five bits, Mr. Noodle. I appreciate it, love. I think maybe we need to uh, I just go through like the little the little tower sections or something. Oh, Jesus, fuck. How did, how did everybody wreck there, man? Also, yeah, I was going to say, there's no way y'all are making it across there. With that little bit of speed, there's no way. <laughs> My car drives pretty good, Psycho, it, but it does seriously need some work. It's got a uh, it's got a small gas leak in it. It's very slow, but still, you know, any gas leak isn't a good leak. Um, so that needs dealt with. And then, of course, for any shop to do work on it, you pretty much have to get that gas leak fi uh, work that, uh, fixed as part of as part of the deal um and the problem like the gas leak it's just coming from we think the fuel return valve so like replacing that wouldn't be that bad but since all the other lines that are in there are old as hell too replacing that one line could theoretically knock out all the other lines in there so it could be like a thousand dollars to get it replaced up to like a thousand dollars to get it replaced which fucking sucks um so yeah that's that's the issue for for mine like oh jesus fuck thanks for hitting me man uh if it weren't for that it honestly wouldn't be that bad a couple hundred bucks like two three hundred bucks for the gas line and then get figure out if it's the 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 ball joint or or what is going on with it and doing the grinding sound and shit but first things first, I need to save up like a thousand bucks in case they have to rip out all of the brake lines, gas lines, etc. <laughs> and uh, that's a lot easier said than done. If I didn't do anything for birthdays or Christmas this year, I could probably <laughs> take it taken care of. But like, dude, that's fucking trash. Dude just ran straight into you. He seriously did, though. Like, I think he had it out for me, man. You're just going to start to go fund me at this point, Nate. <laughs> Car keeps fucking up and it's the one thing you need for work. That's true. That's true. That sucks, man. I really do hope you can get it fixed, Nate, because, yeah, that's that's rough. Have you looked into getting something like uh, downtown as like a part time job in the meantime, just so you have some income while you're waiting for that to get fixed? I don't really know what else you could do. You know what I mean? Like. Because you literally can't do your job without a uh, without a car. So that's the only other thing I can think of is... As much as it would suck, like doing some gas station work or at one of the, the local bars or restaurants or something like that. Somewhere that you could walk or, or take a cab. We are nine seconds behind the leader. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> oh, this is the big jump here too. Yep, no, we're, we're going down. Fuck, dude, we still crashed. Every time. <laughs> you saw there's a new cell phone store downtown. If you want to work with uh, phones again, there you go, man. You got experience with that, right? <laughs> you can you can relive all that trauma. Hell yeah. Your old job can't uh, hold a person to save their life. So, I mean, <laughs> if it weren't for, you know, uh, I'm sure you not wanting to work with that boss ever again. If it weren't for that... This mode here, I definitely prefer better. Did it have like a, uh, I guess I wasn't paying that much attention. It may have had a requirement for, um, like doing tricks and shit like that. Oh fuck. I didn't go through the thing. <clears throat> There's no way. We're just going to restart because we weren't going to win that anyways. We weren't even close to getting like first place or some shit like that. You quit Wendy's? Hell yeah, dude. Good for you. Good for you. Fast food sucks, man. <laughs> it seriously does. I mean, it, you know, when there's nothing else, it pays the bills, which, you know, it, it's good for that. But it's still, I, I hope I never have to work fast food again. I, I would if I absolutely had to, but I really, really hope I never have to again. It's not a good thing. Wendy's has been the best job you had in 10 years. Really? Holy shit, dude. Well, no, I'm sorry to hear that then. <laughs> Your Wendy's must be a lot better than my McDonald's, though. Because, oh, Lord, there's no way, man. <laughs> I cannot imagine anybody saying that uh, my fast food job, the, the McDonald's I worked at, is the best job they had. But no, I'm, I'm sorry to hear about that. Uh, 
if you liked it, why'd you uh, why'd you quit? I'm assuming something happened or or someone happened that made you quit. If you really uh, if you really liked it, it'll be all good," said Nate. Should hopefully be up in a couple days. Ball joints are supposed to be in on Sunday. Yeah, I've looked into a couple things. Didn't know there was a new phone place though. Yeah, just. That sucks, man, because, <laughs> like, again, your whole car revolves, your whole car, your whole job revolves around your car, so it really sucks losing that. I said, uh, while I'm sure that's not what you want to do, go into to working at a gas station or, or fast food or whatever, um, you know, at least it puts uh, food on the table for a little bit while you get other shit figured out. But, again, hopefully you can get that car figured out in just a couple of days, like uh, like it's seeming. And uh, then you won't really have to worry about it. Hopefully. Noodle said, ugh, it was so bad. Yeah, honestly, it was. We uh, worked there together. It was terra bad, dude. So freaking bad. <laughs> it wouldn't have been like, okay, some of the customers were obviously straight trash. Like, don't get me wrong. But it wouldn't have been that bad if it weren't for a couple of the managers that work there were just ridiculous, man. Like, I don't know how they kept their jobs, honestly. It's just... Some people weren't made to be management as far as I'm concerned. That's uh, that's all I'm going to say about that, I guess. And we're going to wreck again. Oh, nope. Okay. Well, I thought we kept a hold of it. I don't know why we randomly fell off the fucking bike there, but... Oh, Jesus, fuck. This one jump is going to be the death of me. I mean, not that we were really doing that well anyways, but holy fuck, dude. We're down to fourth. You're just waiting for the other company to come back and mainly waiting to get your daughter's surgery out of the way. Figure some health things with wife before I go back to regular daytime. Yeah, that's fair too. You do got a lot of other shit to consider. I don't know what's going to end up happening with the... Uh, the other cell phone, or with the cell phone companies, man. Because, like, it seems like, I don't know. No matter, no matter uh, which cell phone company comes into town, it seems like they just kind of fucking suck somewhat, to be honest. Like, someone got promoted to management the day he returned from jail. That's not fishy. And he hadn't been there as long as you have, and you're just not a, not going to get passed up like that. Made 950s and Windays, and you'll make 18 at your job you start on Monday. Well, that's good. I just hope you end up liking it. But, I mean, making damn near double the money, you know, that's... Hell yeah. <laughs> that's a huge bonus right there, you know? Getting almost double the money for your time. And your time is worth it, for sure. Like, that's one thing you can never get back is time, man. You deserve to be well compensated for it. You'll miss the people, though, and the job was easy. I feel that. I definitely feel that, man. That's like... uh where I work out now, I've been considering changing positions because I would get a couple more dollars an hour. Only a couple more an hour for me, but I, I mean, a couple still adds up. Um, but I do like the majority of the people that I work with right now, and honestly, I have it pretty easy too during my, my real job. I work in the electronics department of a uh, retailer. And uh, yeah, like, it's legit. It's pretty fucking easy, dude. For the most part, I just kind of answer questions about people's cell phones all day. Uh, maybe maybe sell them on specific laptops and shit. And then slowly stock stuff. I'm like, that's all I got to do. And I get paid reasonably well for it. You loved working at gas stations and such? Fast food means I have to shave my beard off? Ugh, yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. That part sucks. I've never worked at a gas station, but I can't imagine I would like it. Sounds petty, but not happening. <laughs> the beard part. Yeah, I feel that, man. I feel that. Hate having your face constantly be on fire and breaking out from shaving. Oh, Lord. How are these guys, like, making these big-ass jumps over to the other side? What am I, what am I doing wrong? Do I need to, like... Do you need to angle your bike different? And why why did I wreck there? I wasn't even doing anything, man. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I I guess maybe we were trying to go up too too sharp of a hill, like too too vertical. I don't know, man. 
I'm uh, obviously just not very good at this game. <laughs> just uh, to be frank. Yeah. You were legit about to pick up a couple days at Burger King. Then wife reminded me you'd have to shave your beard. <laughs> the shaving part does suck. I remember when I used to run a deli. Having to keep my, my beard under a couple inches. Uh, that did suck, man. At least, uh, at least at the deli I was allowed to keep my, my long hair, though. I had to pull it back and put it in a, a ponytail and shit like that. But, like, that's not the end of the world. Oh, wait. These are, like... Oh, uh, have we been quitting in the middle of it? I didn't realize it was, like, multiple different courses. I thought it was, like, a one-track-and-done sort of thing. Uh... <laughs> we'll have to go back to some of those other ones and try again, man. Never want to work at gas stations. You deal with enough weirdos as it is. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that, man. I feel that in my soul. See, all these guys are jumping so much farther than me. It must be, like... Do you, like, pull back right before you... No, oh, Jesus, fuck. Just restart. <laughs> Fucking trash. Oh, my God. It's one of the reasons to quit McDonald's. There for three years and knew what you were doing and they wouldn't promote you. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you mean, Noodle. Well, obviously, I know what you mean. We were dating then. <laughs> uh, the job you got now is probably going to be shit, but the money's good. Oh, dude, okay. So doing a, a wheelie right before the jump seems to be the trick. We went so much fucking farther that time. Holy hell. Got to think over 18 an hour in small town, low cost. Living in Tennessee is way different from making an 18 an hour in a major city. Some people in capital cities may even have trouble making it, but at 18 an hour where I live, you can live like a king. Yeah, that's almost what it's like where I'm at. 18 an hour is pretty fucking good around here. Housing costs are, are relatively low. Um, like, uh, rent and stuff has started to go up because more job opportunities have started to come to town, but, uh, for the most part, housing costs still aren't too bad around here. So 18 an hour here is, is pretty fucking good money too, so I know what you mean. I definitely know what you mean. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing tonight, OptiJack? Happy to see you in the stream, bro. Um... Which way? Where is the actual thing that we're trying to go to? What the... I <laughs> just fucking wrecked on the side of that thing. Where the hell is it? Is it this one right here? This this one hidden in between all the fucking hills and shit? Oh, Jesus fucking now we're going the wrong way. Fuck me, dude. We're so fucked. Jesus Christ. So, uh, we're gonna get a, a nice zero points on this one, I'm sure. <laughs> Why is it suddenly turning all the way around? This track is stupid. <laughs> I'm so confused, man. With this one. It's got me all kinds of fucked up. Shaving in you doesn't work out, Nate, because your face is terrible. You get more acne and face burn. Ew. And ended up with ingrown hairs. See, I honestly don't know how my face would react to, to shaving because I've only ever shaved a few times in my life <laughs> like that's pretty much it man so like i don't really know i feel like i feel like my skin wouldn't react too badly to it and the few times i i have really like shaved shaved in my life i, I don't remember being too bad and every once in a while i will shave like uh around the tops of my of my uh beard because my my beard tends to grow pretty high up my face and it just gets a little bit uneven and shit so every once in a while i do like shave that and i don't usually react too bad so but yeah i i, I prefer not to obviously one because i'm lazy and two i'm pretty sure noodle would murder me at this point if i tried to shave off my beard so yeah you got a hundred dollar medication bill too that's true that would uh that cuts into nine dollars an hour pretty big man <laughs> Oh, shit. You live with your folks still, and they pay your phone bill, and your car is paid off. That helps a lot. That helps a lot. I used to joke around with my mom, telling her I was just going to move into her basement. She always told me I wasn't allowed to, though. <laughs> like, jokes aside, I probably would have. She would have let me. Uh, I don't know what I would have done with Mr. Noodle, but, like, mm. saving that money there, though? Hell yeah. Let's go. 
I'm here for it. So I think we actually just pass that up. The gate that's up there. Yeah, and then go through this one down here. That's where we fucked up last time. And you have no boyfriend, so you get like 90% of all that money. Hell yeah, dude. Well, that's awesome. I just hope you end up liking the job that you go to, because... Yeah, I mean... Having, having all that extra money is definitely nice, but... Uh... If you end up, like, absolutely hating it, then that's... Is it going to be worth it at that point, you know? I don't really know, I guess. I guess that really depends on the individual. But for me, I know I don't think it would be worth it if I didn't need that much extra money. And I ended up just completely despising what I do. I don't... Even though my job's easy, I don't love it. But I do it because it's one of the best-paying jobs in the area. And, uh... I got bills to pay. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's just the simple fact of it. There is, I don't have a whole lot of choice. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Noodle, tell me again. Why did you even buy children's toothpaste, or or how did you how did you come across children's toothpaste? Like, I remember you telling me earlier that you had it, and that I should ask some of the people that we we know IRL. If, uh, <laughs> if they need it, but, like, why, though? Do you have it? We don't have children. Why do you have children's toothpaste, love? What are you doing? Go to pay the kitties to feed? Pay kitties to feed. I gotta pay the kitties to feed, man. They just refuse to feed if I don't drop some dollar bills on them, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's ridiculous, those damn kitties. <laughs> oh, holy fuck, we're dead. Oh, God. There must be some really good fucking shock absorbers on these things. You're alive! Hey, Rue! I've missed you, man. You haven't been here in a couple days. I'm glad to see you're alive, though. Seriously. Holy shit. You feeling, uh, you feeling decent after the work you had done and whatnot? You're making that much at a different factory, Psycho? The job was too hard and you quit? Yeah, that's... I get it, honestly. Like I said, if I didn't need the money, I probably wouldn't be working the job I'm working now just because I don't want to spend my time doing something I hate unless, you know, I kind of have to. <laughs> that's kind of, that's the long and short of it, honestly, man. Like I was saying earlier, you only have so much time in your life, you know? Um, that's why I think everyone deserves to be well compensated regardless of what they're doing because they're, they're spending their most precious resource doing it. So as far as I'm concerned, they should be paid well regardless of what the job actually is. Also, we're taking a much more direct path, but I don't think it's actually a better path. Like, uh... <laughs> you mean, yeah, you'll take it, Noodle? Hey, we got all kinds of couponing. Just bullshit, man. One of these days, I'm just gonna... We're gonna have to, like, make you up a basket or something. <laughs> just because I want it out of my house. <laughs> the noodle's pretty good at it, don't get me wrong. She, uh, she gets some really good deals, but holy hell, dude. We got we got too much junk sometimes. Surgery recovery is going well. It's the fucking cold you develop that's killing you. Ugh. I despise colds. I mean, there's the, the term man cold for a reason, and, like, <laughs> I, I feel it in my soul. Like, <laughs> uh. oh, no, you don't need to apologize to us, man. I appreciate you being here, but you don't have to be here. Like, oh my God, can I please get through this fucking thing? Fuck! <laughs> I just want, I just want to go through the gate. Turn sharper, please. There we go. Jesus Christ. Somehow we didn't get into last place, dancing around that fucking pole for an hour. <laughs> Apparently the AI just has fucking trouble with this one. But like, uh. But yeah, no, thank you for being here, Rue, but never feel like you have to be here, man. Especially whenever you're, you know, sick and, and whatnot. Like, <laughs> do what you gotta do. Also, fuck me. How was I supposed to land that any better? I guess I could have tried to get towards, like, the downhill slope area or something like that, but... Also, we didn't learn our lesson too well, did we? We just said last time going off the, 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 the main path like that probably wasn't the best idea. Even though you could technically maybe call it a shortcut. But like, it was so rough of a path. I don't really know if it, if it helped. 
to be honest. <laughs> it's been super fun. Don't worry about it. Got to be here when I can. Well, like I said, I do appreciate it, though, man. You being here is appreciated. Everyone being here is appreciated, man. All of you. Even even Optijack, man. Even even he is appreciated when he's here. I don't know if he can hear me right now. Half the time when he's here, he's like playing a game or something and using me for background noise, which is totally fair. I do that to streamers and YouTubers and shit all the time. Also, uh, we've learned nothing. We're doing the the random off the the track path again. It's fine. Oh god, <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't die there. How are we still in third place? Did two people literally die or something like that? There's no way they're racing worse than I am, man. There is absolutely no way. I refuse to believe it. Also, gotta remember, take the lozenge out of my right lip, put it in my left lip every once in a while. Or just suck on it a little bit more. So that I don't wear a fucking cavity into the side of my tooth again. Like a dumbass. <laughs> When he's here, exactly. See that? We are, we are silently judging you, OptiJack. <laughs> uh, OptiJack is my brother, by the way. That's the only reason why I'm a dick to him. I'm allowed to be. <laughs> uh, you did not win the amateur Baja series. Oh, man. Oh, man. I didn't win. That's fine. Let's try, let's try the outdoor one again. Now that we know there's actually like more than one race. And I feel like we had a little bit of an easier time on this one than the other one. Like, next time you're here, you can take some adult toothpaste off to Jack. Some women's are supposed to raise so your brother doesn't throw me out. I'm not going to throw you out, you weirdo. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm not going to throw you out because of your couponing. I might throw you out because you're hoarding, though. Joking. Joking, by the way, everyone. I wouldn't actually throw her out, and she's not actually a hoarder. <laughs> and actually, credit where credit's due, Noodle has been getting a lot better about that sort of stuff. About getting rid of, like, old things that we really don't need anymore. So, credit to where credit's due. I like to pick on her, but she's been doing well. You're scared to take the pain meds they prescribe because of something called serotonin syndrome? Oh, you don't want to have a serotonin storm, man? You don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want to have so much serotonin build up in your brain that. Never mind. It's just I'm not gonna. I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> I know what you're talking about though, and yeah, no, you don't want to have one. I'm assuming. I I uh, uh, I obviously am not a pharmacist or a doctor, um, but yeah. It's, uh, I, I've read about the possibility of, especially whenever you're on, like, SSRIs or, or anything like that. Um, and then, and mixing it with specific, wait, how am I off track? I, excuse me? Game? What the fuck was that? This game is broken. I was literally in between, like, all the other people. How was I off track? Dude, <laughs> that is fucking jank as hell. Why did it reset me? We were doing decent, and then, oh lord, that that pisses me off. Ugh. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I've read about uh, the possibility of a uh, serotonin storm being worse with certain pain medications and things like that. Um, I'm not positive. But I think I may have been down the path to that at one point because of a certain medication that I was on. And uh, the doctor kept increasing my prescription over and over and over again because it just wasn't working for me. And it got to the point to where, like, I wasn't even sleeping anymore. I was sleeping, like, an hour every two or three days. And, uh, like, sure, it fixed my problem of, like, always being super fucking tired. Kinda. I was still pretty tired, but I wasn't sleeping. <laughs> Anyways, um, and then, yeah, long story short, I ended up in the hospital. And uh, instead of just having an anxiety disorder, I now have a panic disorder. Yay! <laughs> oh, someone shoot me. Not really. But, yeah, I don't need YouTube sending me another message. 
<laughs> You've just been taking regular ibuprofen. That does suck, though, man. One, it's extremely rare, though. I don't know if that'll actually, you know, help your nerves at all. But, like, it is extremely rare, that sort of thing. And uh, the, the, the doctors and the pharmacist are just telling you about that sort of stuff so that you know what to watch for so that if one of it starts to develop, you can, you know, stop taking them so that it doesn't get worse or, or seek help. Um, but as another person with anxiety, um, I know that that doesn't help. <laughs> like, knowing knowing what to look for is a good thing whenever you're, you're on a new medication, you know, knowing what bad effects can happen is a good thing, just generally speaking. But as a person with anxiety, it can be very hard to differentiate between what is a side effect, a negative side effect of this new thing that I'm on and uh, and uh, what is what is just my anxiety, you know? And then like, no, fuck me. We're, oh God, yep, okay. Thank God that time it let me get back on track. Anyways, um, yeah, like what's what's my anxiety and what's my and what's what's a side effect of this this pill or whatever? Um, it can be really hard to differentiate between the two. I totally understand that. And then just knowing the side effects and worrying about the side effects can then make you think you're having it when really you're not and shit like that. And it, it's tough. It's uh, I feel for you 100% on that one. Like stats on shit always helps. It does. It does. And I don't know the stat off the top of my head. I'm not going to try and make something up. I'm not going to lie to you. But uh, I do know from what I had read before that it is extremely rare. Uh, serotonin syndrome, serotonin storm sort of deal is, is, is very, very rare. It's not something that is likely to happen to, to any individual, even individuals on SSRIs um, or painkillers and things like that. But, but always be careful and talk to a doctor because I am not a doctor. Do not take anything I say as medical advice. Uh, Whatever other legal mumbo jumbo you have to you have to say, <laughs> cause yeah, you might actually take one for bed then because your tummy ow yeah I can, I can only imagine <laughs> literally I can only imagine I do not have ovaries so <laughs> I I don't know what getting one taken out could possibly feel like but I I imagine it's not good like at all fuck you for that anxiety honestly just fuck anxiety in general. All of it. Oh, <laughs> uh, because it's just it's just trash. No matter how you look at it, man. The only good thing about it is uh, a lot of people with anxiety disorders are better prepared for actual disasters because we spend so much time thinking about worst case scenario and uh, feeling like everything is is going to be an absolute fucking disaster. Uh, so whenever whenever actual bad shit happens. Uh, there's a decent chance you'll be more prepared than most other people. There's that. So, uh, cool. You know? Like, <laughs> I'm not off the track. I'm not, though. No, game. Why are you doing that? Uh, I mean, at least it only took us back to second place, but that's still annoying as shit, dude. I was on the track. The only thing, like, was it because I cut that corner a little too sharp? Is that why it fucked me up? I don't know, man. Disclaimer, stream all the steam is not a doctor. Yes, exactly. <laughs> of any sort. And medicine should not be taken at face value for medical advice as a substitute for your normal doctor. Yeah, all, all that stuff. And and uh, I'm just a guy on the internet. Don't take anything I say seriously. Holy fuck, please. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm not qualified. <laughs> uh, you have so many contingency plans. I mean... I don't know if I would say I necessarily have contingency plans, but I've thought of like every terrible situation that could possibly happen and then some. A lot of them honestly could never happen, but I've thought about them a lot. And uh, so I feel like I'd probably be prepared if they ever did happen. You know what I mean? Like, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh. Why? Why are you dying? Just, just go down the hill. Your whole job is riding a bike. Ride the bike. <laughs> and how you would react to them? Yes. I mean, of course, man. Of course. But, like, I wouldn't call it a plan, though, necessarily for me. That's that's the, the word that's got me there. Like, I've definitely thought of very negative things happening and what I would do in those situations. But I think it also, like, 
with the way my memory works too though like I don't really remember things unless I'm actively in the middle of it like looking at it and things like that it's probably or possibly at least something to do with the ADHD um, that I didn't think I actually had for years until I started reading well I'm really watching TikToks on the matter and seeing that I actually do have a lot of symptoms of ADHD. So maybe, maybe I actually do. But anyways, yeah. So like, it's dumb though, right? Cause like, I can't remember things unless it's like right in front of my face, except for like all the bad shit that my mind won't let me stop thinking of because of the anxiety. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that, that one cringy moment from 15 years ago or whatever. Oh Lord, that'll replay in my mind 16,000 times in a night. Uh, without fail or uh whatever whatever my most recent trigger was for an anxiety attack like i'll just be trying to go to bed or or driving down the road or something and then it's like hey that thing that really bothered you yeah what if we just start thinking about that non-stop for the next 20 minutes and it's like why though why i just want to go to sleep man <laughs> like or i just i just want to drive the car i just want to get where i'm going i don't i don't want to think about that right now but my brain's like, fuck you, okay? <laughs> this is what we're doing now. <laughs> it's like, fuck. One of the things that I try to remember, though, like, seriously, is, uh, that... Uh, fuck, dude. This game is jank as hell. You are 100% you are right on that, Rue. Uh, is that, like, with anxiety, one of the best things to do for it, in my experience, is to, is to learn to accept it. Um, like, it sucks. But there's at the end of the day, there's not much you can really do about it. You just have to accept that it's there and then focus on the fact that it is just anxiety. That way you don't get into this spiral. That's how I've, I've stopped the panic attacks for the most part. I still get anxiety attacks, but those are much more manageable. Because um, for me, it was usually the anxiety led to some physical responses that then led to panic attacks right because like i would get the the racing heart the the sweaty hands and and feet and all that and uh the feeling like i'm gonna throw up the the sense of dread and all those things and then that would all compound the anxiety until until like full-on panic so just learning to accept that this is this is just anxiety that's that's what i'm facing right now that's what i'm dealing with that's all it is. It's perfectly normal and everything is going to be okay. Like that's, that's what I, I just kind of have to try and focus on to stop the anxiety becoming panic. Cause anxiety sucks, but it's manageable for me. Everyone's different for me. It's mostly manageable. Panic disorder is a whole nother fucking thing. And oh boy. <laughs> yes, sir. Not a fun time. The fact that your sick in recovery is your trigger right now, that sucks, man. I'm assuming you have GAD, Generalized Anxiety Disorder. Um, that's that's what I suffer from, and from the sounds of it, it's probably what uh, you suffer from as well. Uh, anything and everything can become a trigger because fuck you. Like, yep, yep, yeah, exactly. So I, I figured as much. Uh, he's surprisingly calm when having a panic attack. Yeah, you. that's what I was going to say. It might look that way. But inside, I feel like I'm literally about to die at any moment. <laughs> like, <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> uh, I, it's like, I don't know what to do in that situation, right? It's the same with, like, anxiety and panic. Like, I can't physically do anything about it. So, like, I, on the outside, I don't show very many symptoms. I remember when I went to the hospital and I told them, you know, that I, I wasn't feeling very well and, uh, you know, my heart was racing and I was feeling, feeling really, really bad. And, uh, that I, I'm, I was pretty sure I was going through a panic attack at the time and they like, didn't want to believe me. Um, because like I, I didn't show symptoms, <laughs> right? Like what you would normally think of at least with somebody that was panicking. And, uh, then we get to the hospital. I think it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same situation that Noodle's talking about right now. If, if I have my, my memory straight anyways, and then they finally, you know, get me in and they hook me up to the machine and whatnot. 
and see that like my heart is racing and my blood pressure super high and all that stuff and they're like oh yeah you're having a panic attack and it's like yeah i know <laughs> oh game i'm not going the wrong way i'm going the same way as everybody else oh fuck you game <laughs> oh this game sucks it's just jank man it's jank as hell he was like i think i'm having a panic attack yeah yeah, that's me, man. <laughs> that's me. Oh. <laughs> uh, nurse was like, well, you don't look like you're having a panic attack. Yeah, I've been dealing with it for like 18 years now, man. I just kind of, you know, this is, this is how I deal with my life. I, now I'm going the wrong way. That's fair, honestly. Like, okay, there we go. Well, we're going the right way now, but we're like, we're way in last place. So we're probably fucked. Everyone reacts differently. Your body literally goes against me and twitches, sweat, chills, and shivers all at once. Yeah. Yeah. That's why That's why I, I, I like to preface things all the time with saying, for me. Because <laughs> literally everyone does react differently to these things, you know? And you can't, you can't usually tell what someone's dealing with just by looking at them, you know what I mean? Like, at all. Also, Black, why does medicine taste so bad? Is it, is it liquid? Do you, are you taking liquid medicine? <clears throat> I almost never take liquid medicine anymore. Except for, I guess, like, uh, Pepto-Bismol or something like that. But I kind of like the taste of Pepto-Bismol. I'm sorry if that's gross, but, like, I don't know. It kind of tastes good to me. <laughs> uh. Or if it's really bad, guess who can't breathe? <laughs> oh, boy. Yep. That's another thing that, like, that's something that I honestly struggle with all the time is breath. Because, like, I'll feel like... I'm not getting enough randomly sometimes. And so like, I'll try to consciously get more, but then that can lead to, you know, hyperventilation, which then makes you feel, you know, lightheaded and, and can trigger anxiety and, and panic disorder and whatnot. Um, so then I'm like, well, fuck. Okay. So I need to, I need to slow down a little bit, but then I have to like consciously slow down. And then it just leads to, like all these feedback loops and stuff like that. And again, that's why, like, I try, I try to just think and remember that this is anxiety. This is panic. Just let it all go, man. Like, accept it. You have to accept it. There's no reason fighting it. Accept it, and then just continue on with your life. Like, your body knows how to breathe. Period. That's just a fact. Like, even if you get knocked out right this moment, if someone were to come in hit you across the head extremely fucking hard and you fall to the ground unconscious, you know what's going to happen? You're going to start breathing again. If if you hold your breath or hyperventilate so much that you you pass the fuck out, guess what's going to happen? Your body's going to start breathing normal again, man. So you just need to fucking chill and let your body do its thing. Because at the end of the day, your body knows how to do the things it needs to do to live. We just got to learn to chill and let it happen. And, uh, yeah. You created a bit of a mantra for that. You literally just re repeat, calm, breathe, relax. See, I've tried some of, like, the, the counting techniques where, like, you, you breathe in for so many seconds, breathe out for so many seconds, shit like that. But my problem is, one, I struggle to remember, like, how long to breathe in and breathe out and whatnot. That's, that's one of the issues. And, two, sometimes when I'm following those, I feel worse. Like, I feel more like I'm not getting enough breath or, or getting too much or whatever. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to I, I just want to get an O2 monitor I'm just going to fucking start carrying around and wearing an O2 monitor everywhere I fucking go man so I can I can see when I need to breathe I remember I think it was like a, a two sentence horror story or something I forget what it was it was something but anyways it was just like there was this girl she, she showed up at school every day and uh Everyone called her like a, a dummy and an idiot and all kinds of mean names and all kinds of stuff like that. And uh, she was always wore these these giant ass headphones. And uh, one day the teacher finally got fed up and told her she has to take her giant ass headphones off. And so the girl does because the teacher basically forced her to. And the teacher takes them, puts them up to her ears, and there's just a, a audio repeating saying, "Breathe in, breathe out." And then she looks down at the, the girl and the girl is just like fucking passed out on the desk, uh, not breathing. <laughs> and it's like, I don't know. I don't remember where I saw this fucking stupid ass story because it is a stupid ass story. Uh, not real in any way that I know of. But anyways, um, 
I feel like sometimes I just need something like that, I guess. Or like a little, a little shock, a little shock thing. Just uh, like on my uh, wrist, like a, uh, a fucking, uh, what's it called? An O2 monitor, like on a smartwatch or something like that. But then it also vibrates to a rhythm on, on how to like breathe in and breathe out, you know? Sometimes I feel like I need something like that <laughs> to, to get my, my breathing back under control. Oh, Lord, I absolutely hate, like, you're talking about having a cold right now. That's one of the reasons why I absolutely hate having colds, because then you get all stuffy. And when you're all stuffy, it can, your breathing can feel weird, you know? And that just makes that problem so much worse. So, like, that's a thing that I hate. Like, you need to do your stats final. Not do till Sunday, and you got to recover your voice anyways. There you go. There you go. Good thinking, man. We got third place. Hey, we got a trophy. Hell yeah. So that means we can go to pro. I, uh, <laughs> I mean, hmm. We kind of struggled, honestly, with the amateur, but we'll try it. We'll go to pro. We'll see what happens. Why not, man? Why not? You know what I mean? Anyways, guys, uh, I did look over and see that Twitch is about to run a auto ad. So I don't want an auto ad to run, especially not in the middle of gameplay. So for that reason, we're going to take a break. We'll be back in just like three minutes, though, guys. Don't worry. It's not going to be too long. Just going to play an ad, stretch, maybe get something to drink. I suggest you all do the same, and then we'll be right back. Even if it does melt, it's fine. She's grumpy, and it's cold. She's always grumpy, especially when she has to get up that early. <laughs> Layton is the grumpy one. Let's be honest, you're both probably pretty grumpy. Oh, I don't believe any of us are morning people. Well, I did have first place there for a second, it said. Um, but it turns out crashing into a tree repeatedly <laughs> might lose you your first place position. There's a, a small chance. Gee, then why are there trees here? Who decided to have a motocross race in the middle of a desert filled with trees? Like, <laughs> I finished fifth. Fifth place. Not technically last, I don't think. Because didn't somebody, like, get knocked out of the race entirely or something? But, but basically last place. So, good job, us. Retry rate? Oh, yeah. At least it has a retry mechanic. That's good. So we can, we can just do it again. We don't have to uh, completely fail here. What is this morning people used to be? It's these strange people that wake up, like, as the sun's rising or something. I don't know. It's around the time I would normally be waking up. Or, I'm sorry, going to bed is when they're waking up in the morning. It's very strange. I don't understand it personally, but some people swear by it. I honestly think they're just crazy people. But, you know. Morning is lame. I agree with all of the morning hate. All of it. <laughs> okay, we actually, I think, need to focus a tiny bit on the race this time. Because otherwise, we are just going to lose again. And we really need to get turned around here. All these holes make it hard to do anything. Holy crap. There we go. Okay, we're in last place, but at least we're, uh, we're on the course. And we haven't died yet, so that's uh, that's handy as well. Although it's probably only a matter of time until it happens. Hey, at least we got uh, 500 bucks. That'll make all of the death worth it, right? Ah, uh, what? I wiped out on another person? That's trash. I was trying to hit him, but I guess I got too close. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to wipe out on that tree again. All right, we got this. We're in fourth. We see uh, third and second right ahead of us there. And there's first. We can get it. We can get it. Just gotta land. Okay. We are very hurt. We kind of need a health pack. Because we are about to go down. You can't turn while... <laughs> Crap, man. Turns out doing a, a, a spin kick while uh, trying to drive a motorcycle kind of hampers your ability to steer. Uh, 
cookie dough sugar stuff. That's a that's a hell of a way to start the stream back up. Just sugar dough cookie stuff. Is it still good? The sugar cookie dough stuff. Good until August. Good until August. Oh shit, that's not very long. June, July. That's a few months. Yeah, I know. It's. I mean, it's just syrup. It'll probably be good for. All you heard was cookie roux. That's all you need to hear. Cookie. Bye, noodle. Thank you. Love you. Now give. <laughs> hey, you have to. You have to find a uh, train, plane, or something to uh, Colorado and give Rue some some cookie. Yeah. It, it, just cookie doesn't matter. Just cookie. Give her. Give her some cookie. She said she doesn't have cookie. <laughs> It's cookie dough syrup. That's 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 what it is. I honestly, uh, Rue would probably be okay with cookie dough syrup too. <laughs> it's sugar free, so I don't know if you'd actually like it. Noodle despises it because it's sugar free. I think it's pretty good, TBH, but I also don't mind sugar free stuff. I mean, it has like artificial sweeteners in it, um, which is why she doesn't like it. I I though don't mind. Also, can I just say the other motocross game? One that wasn't planned, by the way. That vod, the vods are just uh random the ones that play during the the break section there uh, that wasn't planned that just kind of happened but that motocross game so much fucking better man <laughs> so much better let me tell you uh but anyways also oh shit how did we get pushed all the way over here no dude this is not the wrong way why do you fucking suck game anyways what was i gonna say uh oh i was gonna reply you legit have to record yourself, and you ain't got no voice, so it's not like you have much choice anyway. Yeah, that could that could make things tough, man. You might wanna you might wanna take a bit of a break until your voice comes back. In that case, I also wanted to say, while I uh, while I was thinking of it, I saw your message through on Discord. I am very sorry for not answering. Ask Noodle, anybody in my family or any of my friends. I am terrible at replying to anything, ever. Like I said, the whole ADH thing. ADHD thing if it is not in front of my face I do not think to do it and then the depression anxiety thing means sometimes when I see a message I don't have the energy to reply right away or I'm also just super busy so sometimes there's that too um, but anyways so yeah you put those two together and oh buddy <laughs> good luck getting a reply out of me anyways I did see your message though and uh, one dude that's awesome that you're literally catching up on the Odin Sphere stuff like you don't have to do that, <laughs> but it's awesome that you're watching it. Uh, I appreciate that though, seriously. And uh, yeah, no, it was uh, it was actually the last episode was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, and uh, like the 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 part of the game that I was playing. I wish I could have played a little bit longer than that that day that I played, but uh, you know, shit happened, and yeah, it sucked, but it was what it was. The game, though, was fun. And you said the puka and goblins are uh, are related in some way. I'm assuming it has something to do with the curse or something like that. But we'll find out more. Maybe we'll find out more tomorrow because tomorrow's Saturday. And everybody knows what that means, right? Well, probably not everybody, but some of you do. <laughs> For the people who don't, I try to complete video games on Saturday or work towards completing a video game on Saturdays. Right now, we're doing Odin Sphere. Oh, which reminds me. That's the other thing um, that I wanted to bring up is that uh, I got Jonathan to play, uh, the Dorseman from, from the podcast. I got him to play some Odin Sphere, and he, like, he liked it enough that he legit asked me how much it was because he wants to see if he can find a copy of it for himself. So like, that's pretty cool, man. Like, he, seems, he seems to be enjoying it a fair bit. Uh, so just honestly, all around awesome recommendation from you, Rue. I, uh, I appreciate you bringing that game to my attention much earlier than I probably would have played it otherwise. Like, so yeah, thank you for that. It's explained in Cornelius's story. Very cool. Which is, that's not who we're playing right now, right? We're playing the Puka Prince, but I forget his real name. Oh lord, there's so many characters, I can't keep anyone straight. Is Cornelius the... It is? That is who we're playing right now? Okay, 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 okay. I said, memory doesn't work. I'm also really bad at, like... I don't know. Names? Like, really bad at names? Like... <laughs> uh, he is the Puka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. 
I, I thought it might have been, but I wasn't sure if it was, and like, yeah. Jesus fuck, dude. Did we not just play this course like a moment ago? Are we actually playing different courses, or is it just the same like few courses over and over again, but the, the enemy AI gets better? Because it's feeling like the latter, and that makes this game much worse, man. So there's four different categories. If each of the four categories has three tracks, I mean, I guess that's 12 tracks. It's not that bad. Especially considering, you know, this was a 2001, 2002 game, whatever. I don't know. Maybe it gets a pass. It's kind of hard to ignore your demandingness. Ah, they weren't that bad. And to be fair to Rue, right, I did totally say that it looked good. I was going to get it. And then because of Christmas and everything, it took a long time. For me to get a hold of it much longer it's gonna it's gonna kick us off the course now because i took that corner too sharp watch it fucking do it man yep told you i fucking knew it man why did it take so long for you to realize i was off the track game i wasn't Ooh, buddy <laughs> i love this game this game is so much fun i definitely would not rather be playing that other one that we saw during the break or anything no siree, I just want to play Supercross World. Yay, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh. True, you would not have let it go. That's fair. Noodle needs all the good luck and positive vibes. That way you don't die at work tomorrow. <laughs> Working the first morning shift in years. Yeah. Go Noodle. I'm sorry, love. I wish you didn't have to work a morning shift. You could just call in sick for the first time ever. I mean, outside of having COVID, I don't know if you've ever called off. Like, you're allowed to do that sometimes. Your boss might hate you for a day or two, but they'll get over it. <laughs> Although, just uh, magically getting getting sick, the only morning shift you've had to work in years, might be a bit of a tip-off, though, that you're not actually sick. Oh, two of your coworkers will be at that drag show? Yeah, that could be a bit of an issue, too. <laughs> oh, Lord. I keep forgetting, honestly, that you have the drag show tomorrow. You'll have to let me know how it goes. I'm sure you'll take a ton of a uh, of video that you end up forcing me to watch again anyways. So, <laughs> forcing is a strong word. You are you force me about as much as, uh, as Rue forces me to play Odin Sphere. <laughs> Not literally forced, just nudged torched violently. That's all. Like, <laughs> gonna be on Snapchat. Yeah, I'll probably just watch it whenever you get home or whatever. Though, you gotta get your ten one dollar bills for tips. You gotta tip them, man. Like they strippers or something. <laughs> if you're gonna be tipping them, at least they could do is give you a bit of a lap dance or something. Like, come on, man. Nudge. I almost had to push you. I wanted to play it basically after the first time you showed it to me. It was just a, a money issue. And I know you offered to like give me a copy of it, but I wasn't gonna take your 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 copy of the game. I ain't gonna do that, man. It feels weird to me, like accepting things from, from people online. Like uh like tips for instance. Like the subscriptions are one thing, right? Subscribing to the channel, that doesn't feel too weird. Um the bits do feel a little bit weird whenever, like, uh, I do get, like, large ones. You know, I've gotten, I've, like, Noodle gives them to me all the time, but that's, that's Noodle. It's literally my girlfriend, so that, that doesn't feel too weird. But I had, I had one guy give me, like, uh, what was it, like, a thousand bits or whatever, ten dollars worth of bits. And, uh, that, that felt pretty weird. Like, really cool, don't get me wrong. I was super, super happy for them, but, like, I did not expect that, and it felt a bit weird. And, uh... And then, like, I, I have a tip link on my my link tree that, that gets posted. And, like, I, I have it, like, right there in the text. Like, dude, do not feel obligated to tip. No one ever should because it's super appreciated to anyone that does, obviously. But, like, man, I don't know. It just feels weird to me. Like, gee, I know we weren't best friends yet, but I'll stream that hurt. What, what did I say? What did I do? I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I didn't mean to say anything bad. Did I did I actually say something rude? 
Um, I do apologize if I did. I definitely didn't mean to. <laughs> I didn't mean to say anything even negative about feeling awkward taking stuff from a person on the internet. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> okay. Well, like, just taking stuff from people in general. You want to know what, like, again, super appreciative but felt really weird? Uh, one of my best friends, IRL, the Dorseman, everybody knows him from the podcast and whatnot at this point, gave me like an Xbox One that is slightly broken, admittedly, like he admitted that, um, but still, like he just gave it to me. Now, he got it for next to nothing, so like it cost him basically zero dollars, and I totally understand that, but the man still gave it to me, just like, he was like, hey, you can have this. Uh, consider it like part of the payment for the website that I haven't given you money for or whatever like stuff like that And I'm like dude seriously. Thank you. I, I super appreciate that But like oh my lord just like as an example of someone I, that I know IRL that I do consider a really good friend It still feels weird like taking that from from them, you know, like Because like holy hell dude like why 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 are you just giving this to me man? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? That's all that's all that dude is, uh, like, he's, he's a super good guy. I don't talk about that enough. I, I talk down about him all the time because that's our humor. Um, like, he talks down about himself. I talk down about him. You know, that's just that's just what we do. <laughs> but, no, like, honestly, he's a, he's a super nice guy. Everybody should uh, give him some love whenever he's on again uh, in, the, in the chat or uh, on the podcast or whatever. He also gave me like an old PSP that that he had that wasn't well, need a new battery. Other than that, it was it was working. And then like a bunch of games and shit for it, like all all kinds of cool stuff, man. Um, and like yeah, technically he does owe me money for the website that we host together, but like the stuff that he's given me far far outweighs the 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 cash money that he owed me for that sort of stuff, you know. And like I I didn't even bring it up to him because it's like dude, it's it's like eight dollars a month or something i'm not gonna make a big deal about it but that dude went above and beyond with just fucking incredible so like big big shout out to the dorseman man um if he ever twitch streams again everyone should check him out <laughs> and when it whenever we go back to doing the podcast again like big uh everyone give him a, a warm virtual hug because like that dude's awesome I do when he is, because Doris is freaking awesome. He is, man. One of the most positive people you've ever met. Honestly, and, like, he really is, man. He really is. He's a very positive person. He's a, he's a very high-energy guy. Uh, he's a little bit annoying, but, like, <laughs> but like in a in a man-I-love-you kind of way. But, uh, Lord Almighty, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I, I pick on him because I love him. Uh, but, no, he's he's a really cool man. He's, he's a great guy. He's a great guy honestly kind of sucks you don't get to interact with him much yeah i mean he he wanted to get more into twitch streaming and stuff like that um himself like he has his own channel but he just he's he's got the baby you know and then he's got his full-time job and his wife and everything like that and uh as as a person that doesn't have a baby but does have a, a full-time job and the equivalent of a wife um might as well be my wife uh actually you know fun story here getting sidetracked Fun story, I've asked Noodle to marry me probably like 20 times, um, but every time she says no because she doesn't think I'm being serious, like I wouldn't actually marry her or something like that. Uh, I don't know, man. Girl's weird, but <laughs> see that rolling her eyes? See, she doesn't take me seriously. But anyways, uh, like as somebody that, that basically has a wife and, uh, and does have a full-time job and whatnot, I get it. I get it, man. It is, it is hard to dedicate yourself to, to streaming on a schedule while also trying to spend some sort of time with your significant other and keep up with your full-time job. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's rough. I totally understand. Um, did that count as a lap? I don't... I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on. Anyways. I mean, we're going to lose this one anyways. Who the fuck cares? At this point, I'm basically just using the game as as something on in the background while I chat with you guys because this game kind of this game kind of I don't want to say suck. Suck is a bit of a hard, a, a bit harsh for it, but it's it's definitely jank at best, man. Jank at best. That's my new rating that I'm gonna give to video games. 
<laughs> jank at best. Like, yeah. You've been stuck with him for how long? You know, everyone that knows us in real life says it the other way around, and I'm not joking. That's... Because <laughs> I'm the, like, really chill one. She's the the very uh, weird in-your-face one. So, like... <laughs> Love Noodle to death, obviously, but everyone that knows us is like, man, you put up a lot. <laughs> you put up with a lot. <laughs> Ooh. Noodle wants that and the cat. Oh, the uh, the opal rose gold ring with opal stone. Yeah, 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 yeah. She does want that. I do need to get her one of those, though. That's true. That's true. I just don't want, like, the Christian ceremony. I'm fine with, like, having a party to... to celebrate the marriage or whatever like i'm totally fine with that i just don't care for the whole christian thing you know like because i'm not a religious person regardless of what my name is I just, <laughs> you know like that's just that's not me oh hi there um okay we're we're doing some weird jumps now man uh but anyways but yeah like i'm, I'm down to you know have some food and invite some people over or whatever i just don't want to have the 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 big the big thing that's all that's all for me although i would do it for for noodle if she if she really wanted to you're a lot to put up with no that's just what everyone says love i don't say that but that's what like your boss and your friends all say that's all but they're crazy anyways you are literally perfect my perfect little noodle <laughs> oh I think we just witnessed a man dying. <laughs> I was getting married, we messed up my insurance, and I need my insurance. Yeah, that's true, too. That's another reason why we haven't actually gotten married IRL, is because she gets Medicaid. And, uh... And, yeah. <laughs> I make too much money for that, so... And she, she actually, like, legit needs her insurance. Otherwise, she could have some uh, serious issues later on in life. So, yeah... Feel that on a personal level? Yeah. Tis rough, man. <laughs> Good vows without all the religious junk. He's a dudist. A dudist? I'll have to look that up. See what the hell a dudist is. And if I want to be married by one. I I actually know a few people that can officiate weddings. Um, and they're they're friends of mine. So like I could do whatever the hell I want and they would sign off on it um, and officiate it for me. So like that's that's not much of a problem. If if Noodle wants to have a ceremony of any kind, we could we could have whatever kind we wanted to. We could we could have a fucking orgy as our as our wedding and I know a dude that would sign off on it like <laughs> like a flish flopping what? Oh. Universal healthcare is needed. I agree 100%. And like everyone's like, why should I pay for someone else's medical thing? But the thing is, the people that usually, not always, the people that usually complain about why should I pay for someone else's health insurance or whatever for them to get whatever procedure they need done are usually people that are like lower middle to low class, right? Um, and the, the fact of the matter is, under most versions of that plan, you would be paying less per month for universal health care then you would be paying right now for health insurance, assuming that you don't get Medicaid, right? Like, dude, like, what's the downside there, man? Like, honestly, just tax the fucking rich. Tax the hell out of them, because nobody needs that much fucking money. I'm sorry. If I ever become, like, a multi-billionaire, and I don't go, like, all out like Mr. Beast and give up 99% of that money, dude... Then, like, someone fucking bitch slapped me because, holy hell, like, what the fuck is wrong with people, man? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know how you can sit on literally billions of dollars and just not do anything with it. And, like, I like Elon Musk, right? He, he's fucking insane. And that's part of the reason why I like him. The dude has all this fucking money. He just bought Twitter for, what, like, $40 billion or something stupid, if not more. Like, dude... How much money would it take to solve world hunger, at least for the short term? How much money? I can't imagine it would be much more <laughs> than what you just fucking paid for Twitter. 
Just fucking do it. How how can Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Bill Gates does do a lot of philanthropy, you know? But like how can you not do more with it, dude? I don't understand. Like there's got to be I'm not uber rich, right? I'm not. I doubt I ever will be. So maybe maybe there's some reason why you can't actually do that sort of thing. Like maybe money is tied up in some way so that the only time you can spend billions of dollars is whenever you're buying a company. I don't know why that would actually be a thing. Um, but let's say it is. Then, okay, maybe maybe I don't know about that. And I'm sorry if that's the fucking case. But, like, dude, how can you buy a company for $40 billion but not give a few billion so children aren't literally dying because they're hungry? Like, yeah, Elon said he would do that. And you know what? They delivered the plan. And you know what happened? He hasn't given them any fucking money, dude. None. <laughs> Papa Elon, I love him, but dude, he's a fucking, he's still just another rich guy at the end of the day. That's the thing to remember. Memes aside, cool products and shit aside, you got to remember at the end of the day, Elon is just another rich dude, like all the rest of them, man. That's, that's what it is. Like, he makes cool shit, he does some cool things, but like, yeah, he's, he's still just another rich dude, though. Like, I'm sorry. Anyways, like, <laughs> tax the richer before they get richer. Honestly, though, like, yeah, I just, I don't, I don't understand why anyone needs literally a trillion dollars, you know? You can never spend that much money. You have more money than entire countries. Why? Why? why you know? Like, <laughs> that's fucking insane. And then the wage gap, let's not even get started on the wage gap and how it's ever increasing between the, the, the people making these guys uber fucking rich. But okay, and a lot of it, not the, the refusal to do philanthropy sort of thing, but a lot of the, the poor business practices though, sadly, isn't because of the, the rich dudes just being assholes. A lot of it is actually because of law. Whenever you have a publicly traded company, you have to do whatever makes your um shareholders the most money essentially right like you 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 have to do what's in their best interest if you don't you can literally have the company get sued um out of existence essentially in fact right now netflix is being sued for not being transparent enough about their uh subscriber numbers with their their uh shareholders so that they could make uh, reasonable decisions on what to do with the company and shit like that. Like, if you make any move that can be deemed not in the best interest of your shareholders, you are breaking the law as a as a company in America. It sucks, but that's actually the law. Like, uh, what's what's a corporation that makes way too much money um, that could do good with it? Amazon. Amazon's like the perfect example, right? They could literally get sued as a, as one of the world's largest companies. They could literally get sued if they didn't continue to... Wait, we're going the wrong way? How am I... Uh, I fucking lost the course there. We're going to lose this one too. Oh, well. Um, if they decided to, you know, cut all of the, the prices on essentials down to uh, cost, right? So they only charge what they pay for it. That's something that they could feasibly do and still make a shit ton of money. Right. They could, you know, for for food that they sell um, and and toilet paper and shampoo and and shit like uh, uh, lady uh, feminine hygiene products and shit like that. Right. They could literally I'm sure I haven't seen their financials, so I'm just spitballing here, but they could probably sell that shit at cost and still make fucking truck tons of money. But because that would be harming their their profit. Right, that's not necessarily what's best for the company in terms of making money. They could actually get sued to hell and back for doing that sort of thing. Even though that would be doing a major service to the public. And the rich assholes that own Amazon would still be rich as shit. But they literally couldn't do that if they wanted to because, yeah, it would be against the law. Which is fucking stupid. But that's how, that's how capitalism works, man. And, <laughs> ugh. It's ridiculous. Johnson & Johnson, yeah. Yeah, I mean, same thing. Publicly traded company, right? And they make a lot of things that are, are needed for 
for survival. <laughs> right? <clears throat> and if they wanted to, they could lower prices dramatically. But they literally can't because uh, to a degree, right? And they, they can obviously lower prices to some degree um, if they wanted to. And they can always put a, a positive spin on it to get the approval of of um, their shareholders and everything, right? They, they can do stuff like that. Like uh, with the Amazon example that I gave, they could try to spin it in some way like uh, by by lowering the, the price of all essentials to, to, to just what it cost us. We are drawing more customers in and getting the support of more people for our company, which leads them to buy... Uh, other things so we suspect this will actually increase our profits by 15% over the next three years or some shit right like if they could say something like that and and prove that they they actually believe that to be true then then they could but would they probably not but the fact is like that's the type of thing that it would take to be able to to do good for the world as a large company um, and not open yourself up to to legal liability for not helping your shareholders get richer it's fucking stupid but that's that's how it works how will they go to space exactly man <laughs> how how is jeff bezos and all the other uber rich fucks of the world going to uh going to go to space if we don't if we don't <laughs> continue to overpay for feminine hygiene products are one of the ones that piss me off the most you know for real thank you so much for the bits mr noodle i appreciate it in the middle of us uh ranting about corporate greed thank you for for donating five uh five bits uh let me show a little bit for you real quick and uh earn them dollars baby uh <laughs> um but yeah like feminine hygiene products are one of the ones that that really piss me off man like uh why why is that just not included as as a free thing contraception is another one be it male or female contraception there are thankfully some places that you can go to to get free contraception, but like, why can't you just go to the grocery store and uh, and and get some for free? You know, like why is there not some sort of government thing in place for that? Like, I understand the idea of having like a premium option that is paid for or whatever, fine, but uh, like they they make it harder than it needs to be to get these things for free, and then they want to go and do absolutely ridiculous things like revoking Roe v. Wade. Um, or potentially, even considering it, even fucking considering it is stupid. And uh, they want to go and do stupid shit like that when a lot of people still struggle just to get the things they would need to not have a baby if they don't want to fucking have one in the first place, you know? And it's just, I'm sorry, it all, it all fucking pisses me off. Stupid. They finally took the tax off those here, by the way. Good. Good. There never should have been tax on anything that is essential for a human to live a decent life should not be taxed to hell and back and should not be charged a premium for period doesn't matter what it is <laughs> satanic temple is fed uh fe federally recognized and accepting new members to protect women from that yeah they did that in uh texas too um in uh texas whenever texas first did the the whole uh abortion ban thing where you know they got around it through a bunch of legal loopholes so that people were policing people instead um they set up a bunch of things down there too because they are a federally recognized religion and one of their tenants is uh one of their tenants is body autonomy right like the the fact that everyone should have freedom to do with their own body as they please um everybody doesn't matter if you're a woman with a fetus inside you i personally am not a fan of it just to be completely clear Except for very specific circumstances, I am against abortion for myself and for, you know, for Noodle. But there are situations where I would consider it. And all of that said, my opinion should not fucking matter for someone else. <laughs> Just because I don't personally like the idea of abortion, unless very specific things are going on, doesn't mean I have the right to tell someone else whether they can have one or not doesn't matter even a little bit they can do what they want because they're not fucking me <laughs> right i have the i have the ability to decide what i do with my own body so should they it's that fucking simple man that's that's all that's all people 
pisses me off. Pisses me off, man. I hate it. Makes me so mad. Just what is wrong with people, dude? The fuck are you doing? Try anyways. <clears throat> yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> oh, a lot of those places I, I missed a few messages. I just saw Nate said a lot of those places you get called a murder while going to. I'm assuming you're talking about a lot of the places where you get free con contraception, and that is very true. A lot of the same clinics where you can get... Oh, fuck. I forgot we got to do that hill a little bit differently. Anyways, a lot of the places where you can get free contraception so that you don't have a baby that you don't want and then don't get tempted to have an abortion literally have mobs outside of them calling you a fucking murderer because you're trying to go in there so you don't have a fucking baby. Yeah, Planned Parenthood. Exactly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous, man. That sort of shit should be illegal, too. Like, for real. That, mm, 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 mm. I, I love everything. Whew. Need to, uh, just take a deep breath. Everything's gonna be okay. Holy fuck. It just makes me so angry. So angry. How much is membership again for the Satanic Temple? I don't think they charge, do they? <clears throat> I know a little bit about them, but I, I'm not going to admit to know like a ton about them. I, I know what I know about them because of their, their tenets and things that they believe in are extremely reasonable and, uh, and well thought out. And they do actual good for people in the world. Um, it's <laughs> the, the edgy teenager that still lives inside of me loves the fact that they choose to do this while being a satanic temple. But uh, at the same time, it's kind of unfortunate that they have chosen that specifically because I think if they didn't, they would be able to do even more good in the world because more people would be willing to accept them, right? Um, and and it's, it's dumb, but that's the honest to goodness truth of it, you know? I think if they weren't the Satanic Temple, more people would be able to or would be willing to, to listen to what they have to say and uh, would be more considerate of their message, which is which is simply their message is just people have the right to control their own bodies, man, without someone else telling them what the fuck they need to do or not do. Um, that and, and that, hey, this science shit is some good stuff. They've discovered a lot of things and they're trying to make our lives better. Maybe we should listen to that. And then my personal favorite is, hey, don't be a fucking dick. <laughs> that's like, that's my favorite tenet of theirs, man. That one's a good one. <laughs> mm. uh, anyways, breathe, stream, breathe, yeah. <laughs> what was it I was saying about needing one of those uh, little little shock things on my wrist? Reminding me to uh, take deep breaths in and out, you know what I mean? Uh, anyways, I've literally read a story about a lady going to one for a cancer check and having all that said to her, and on top of all that, the clinic even didn't do their procedure. Yup. Yep. It don't matter, man. Idiots will just blindly follow. Um, it's kind of like the story that I've read. I don't remember if it's true or not. Um, and... It, um, sorry, I was reading what Rue said, and yeah... That's, uh, yeah, that's that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. I didn't think it actually cost anything to join. Their main tenet is don't be a dick. That's it. That's the main thing that they ask of anybody to join. And that's, the, like, the one golden rule that you have to follow to be part of the Satanic Temple is don't be a fucking asshole, man. Treat other people with a modicum of respect, you know? Basic human decency. And while we're on that topic, can we, can we just mention how children are treated, right? Everybody is trying to make sure that fetuses are born so they can become children and then become adults and whatnot. But as a person who lives in this world, has gone to school and was a bit of an asshole as a child and has now seen how adults treat children as an adult, can I just say that it's fucking disgusting the way a lot of people treat their children or just that a lot of adults treat children in general? Man, have you ever heard of respect? I don't care if a child is a fucking child. If you're just going to sit there and be an asshole to them, they shouldn't have to do a goddamn thing you tell them to. I don't care if you're their parent. I don't care if you're just a fucking adult in power or whatever. 
you know, like a teacher or, or, or some shit like that. It doesn't matter. They are human beings. You're trying to say a fetus is a human being, but you can't even treat a child of someone walking around, someone that you can literally speak to. You can't treat them like a human being, dude, which is a modicum of respect. That's all you got to do. Talk to them like they're real people, man. For fuck's sakes, please. Like, children only get to be children once. One fucking time, dude. They get, if they're lucky, they get like 18 years to be relatively carefree in this world. And we all know you don't even get 18 fucking years. All right? Let them have that time of their life. Because all of us adults out here would like to tell you that it fucking sucks being an adult, man. <laughs> like, let the children be fucking children. Please, don't try and make it worse for them just because you have some sort of superiority complex and you think you're better than them because you're fucking older. It doesn't mean shit, I promise you. It's irritating. I hate people that are terrible to children for no, no fucking reason, dude. And I'm not gonna get into the debate of how to discipline children. You know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychiatrist. I know what kind of discipline we had growing up and I don't think it worked. <laughs> I'll say that much, um, but I'm not gonna get into that debate. I don't know what's best and what's not, but just show them some respect. And I, I, I bet you if you did that, they would be much more susceptible to whatever kind of discipline you decide to give them. That's like, treat them like human beings and chances are they'll be willing to listen to you more, right? It's the same with like whenever you go to a store and you come in there with a bad fucking attitude and start yelling about wanting to get your way. You know what that does? You might get your way because you're always going to have those ass liquor managers and shit like that that are just going to give it to you. But all that really does at the end of the day, all the employees are laughing at you. Other other uh, customers are coming around saying what kind of an asshole, what kind of a dick you are and laughing at you. And nobody wants to fucking help you when you come in again. That's all that does. You come in with a little bit of respect, say please, say thank you, and just ask for help like a normal fucking human being. And most of the people at whatever retail place would be more than happy to do whatever the hell they can to help you out, man whatever they can do just be decent to people no matter the age no matter their job no matter the situation try to be decent to people we all slip up lord knows i've been a major dick to people that didn't deserve it i've also been a dick to a lot of people that did deserve it doesn't matter though i was wrong in a lot of situations that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying i've been wrong it happens to everyone it's gonna happen to you too but when you can, be fucking decent. That's all. That's should that that should be that should be simple. But like, anyways, yo, guess who's a member of the Satanic Temple? I'm assuming that's you, Root. <laughs> congrats, congrats on your indoctrination. Uh, we only require your firstborn child now. I'm joking, obviously, but uh, that's the sort of jokes that are really easy to make because they're the Satanic Temple. Hence, while I was saying, I think they they kind of messed up being. The satanic temple and the don't be a dick temple. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just just like my argument about butt whooping. Is it okay for me to walk and beat the shit out of you for being annoying? It's not okay for me to do that to my kid. Exactly, man. Exactly, right. And especially when you think about it, like a child is still developing. Their brain does not fully comprehend that mom has had an extremely stressful day trying to take care of you and your siblings while also trying to get dinner made and 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 dad's at work all the fucking time so he never gets the help or whatever like kids don't understand that so freaking out and yelling at them because they're playing a little bit too loudly or because god forbid they're trying to spend time with you and talk to you and and play with you or something like that freaking out and yelling at them for that sort of thing does nothing but harm them dude nothing but harm them it's not good for anybody and if you i mean I, I i bet you feel like shit for doing that later too and if you don't then i think you should probably do some soul searching you know i because i know when i fuck up and say stupid shit to people that i probably shouldn't have i usually feel pretty bad about it man and like 
especially if it were to a child. Thankfully, I can't think of a time that I've freaked out on a child as an adult, and I hope I never do, because fuck man, they deserve a couple of easy years in their life. That's it, you know? Huh. We talk shit about them all the time. They get a lovely nickname. They try to be super fake and like nice the next time they come in and we don't forget. Exactly. That's how it is with customers. It's exactly how it is with the asshole customers, man. Ah, uh, love it. You literally got a free cookie the other day because I wasn't an ass about a long wait. I have I uh got a free sandwich, a free foot-long sandwich at a place before not too long ago because the, the lady that was running it, she was a manager there. Everybody called off on her that day. She was super busy and some, I think it was one of her upper up, like higher ups were on the phone with her or something bitching about stuff. And I just told her, you know, take as much time as you need. I'm in no rush. You'll get to it when you get to it whatever didn't expect anything in return then we get to the checkout she puts it in a bag and she's like here you go and i'm like holding up my card and she's like no it's fine just take it and i'm like are you sure and she's like yeah you're good and just let me go man with a it was a cookie a cookie and a sub just fucking gave it to me all you got to do is be nice man that's it just <laughs> that, just be a reasonable fucking person you know what I mean? And like, I admit, I, I I don't know much about a lot of things in this world, to be honest. Um, but but the Bible is the one that I want to bring up. The Christian Bible, right? I, I don't pretend to know it front to back. I, I don't know every verse. I can't, I can't quote every verse and everything like that. But I know my years that I spent in church, years that I spent in church, the number one message my church tried to drill into us was to be decent to others you know and i i respect that about the church that i went to and i wish more people would hear that message that claim to be christian because so many people in general of all religions of no religion um just aren't decent to others man and we need more of that preached. Less of the, from the Christian standpoint, I only bring up that religion so much because that's the one I'm most familiar with. Again, no no sort of expert, but most most uh, familiar with. From a Christian standpoint, we need, in my opinion, less of the, 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 the gay bashing, you know? Less bringing up problems with, with the LGBTQ community or whatever. Uh, less arguments over whether people should be having abortions or not um and just more preaching of being decent to people because the fact of the matter is a lot of churches do a lot of good work you know we grew up poor and we got a lot of food from the local church if it weren't for one of the local churches if it weren't for them we probably would have spent some nights pretty damn hungry so like i am thankful for them for that but then it sucked going to that same church on Sunday and hearing a lot of people saying nasty things about people because of their skin color or because they are a guy that likes other dudes or a girl that likes other girls or because they smoke cigarettes or because they like to go out drinking once a month with their friends or whatever, you know? Like, I'm so thankful to them for keeping us fed but it is also really shitty to hear them talking down on other people like that all the time. Especially when, you know, I knew a lot of people in those situations. My, most of my family smoked. I know a lot of people in that church smoked. Um, some people in my family had drinking problems and they probably need a bit of a talking to, to be uh, uh, honest. But, you know, still, <laughs> they weren't all terrible people. Um, and when I was that young, I mean, I don't know if I knew anybody that was openly gay or anything like that but i've certainly grown to know many and most of them are wonderful people and i feel sorry for for you know the children of the adults that were constantly talking down on people because of their their race their sexuality or whatever um because a lot of them probably have those same beliefs now they probably didn't when they were children but they were taught to think that way and uh I doubt it's easy to change your thinking on that so, sort of thing. And if instead they had just preached kindness, a little bit of understanding, I imagine the world would be a much better place for everyone. 
but instead we all want to focus on the bad. And that fucking sucks. <laughs> like, that's gonna, that's gonna be the way we end the stream from now on, is just be decent to people. Guys, just be decent. <laughs> oh, lord. You've talked to so many workers that say other dashes have thrown a fit about waiting. Like, it's all good. I'm just going to go watch YouTube in my car. Yeah. And I mean, when it's your job, right, with dashing, when it's your job and somebody is hours late, I understand being a little irritated about it. That's reasonable. But yelling at people isn't going to be helpful, you know? Especially when you're yelling at the 16 to 20 year old, probably their first job, that is just trying to make it through the day without crying. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that that child or young adult that you're yelling at, I highly doubt they have anything to do with your order taking so long to be filled. You know what I mean? Like you yelling at them is doing nothing to help the situation. You're just ruining someone's day and you're probably not gonna feel any better about your day either. So like, what was the point? <sighs> Hypocritical assholes. Wow, the Satanic Temple also has a cookbook for sale? <laughs> See, again, though, instantly I just want to make jokes about, like, terrible things. <laughs> like, filet of man, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> because, because Satanic Temple. That's why. And I'm not even one of the people that dislike the Satanic Temple. I think what they do is good. But, like, I still instantly want to make fun of them for that. Because they're the Satanic Temple. <laughs> They really need to be like the the kitten temple or something. The temple of fluffy kittens. That I think that would really help their their image. <laughs> oh. You've literally had workers scared to let you know it's gonna be just a few minutes. Yeah, see, and that's terrible, man. That's terrible. Like they shouldn't be scared to let you know that it's gonna be a couple extra minutes because they're busy as fuck. And when they are, you know it's because just a week ago or whatever, they had some dude in their face screaming because he had to wait three extra minutes for, for a double cheeseburger <laughs> or whatever. Like, oh my god, dude. It just annoys the shit out of me. Ugh. Yep, well, I mean, I could I could literally complain about the state of the world all day for hours. Um, it's one of the few things I'm good at. <laughs> but we have to we have to end this somewhere. Um and as promised, man, the new way we're going to end this is uh, thank you, everyone, for being here. I appreciate you all for coming and hanging out with me. I hope to see you tomorrow for the next stream. And for goodness sakes, just be decent to other people, man. That's all. Have a good night, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Sure heard the over